On the agenda tonight, we have a follow-up video to a cover video that we looked at very recently. <laughs> Hello, Phil here from Wings of Pegasus and welcome to another analysis video. If you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. So we looked at Tori Holub and Jim and the gang and their performance, their cover, which I said was the best cover that I've heard of this particular song with everything, the voice, the instrumentation. And somebody commented saying that it's just the original track that they've played it side by side or you know, synced them up and they're just exactly the same. So what I'm going to do in this video is show you the detail that we go into with the analysis videos and how you can really trust everything that I'm saying on, on screen because it's objective data that we're looking at, but how one vocal and another vocal, if they are separate vocals, they will not match up on pitch monitoring software. It's impossible. The only way a vocal will match up perfectly with another vocal is if it is in fact the same vocal. So uh, that's what we're going to be doing. So if for whatever reason you have played the original and the cover together and started them both at exactly the same time, you'll find they are almost perfectly synchronized. At the end, it goes out ever so slightly, but this is just a case of maybe not appreciating the amount of work that has gone into the cover video. So what's happened is they have used the original release as the click track, as the timing. So they haven't started their own click track at a particular beats per minute. They're following the flow of the original. So this is why it sounds exactly the same is because the timing, it, like I said, is pretty much spot on for the whole song and they're intentionally trying to get it as close as possible. So when you maybe understand that, then you can listen to it and think, wow, yeah, that they've done an amazing job. And this is why I say, and I did say that it's the best cover that I've heard of the song just through everything. So if these two voices are in fact the same vocal take, the same voice, if it's Karen Carpenter, then the lines will match up perfectly. And I've even done a test to show you that no matter how many times you put it through the pitch monitoring software, it will give you the same results if you keep playing the same audio file, the same vocal. So it is entirely reliable. If you want to sit there and do it 100 times in a row, you can do. Anyway, we're going to listen to Karen Carpenter's vocal first. I mean, Tori is so similar, but you might be able to hear a slight difference between the two. So this is Karen first. We've only just begun to live White lace and promises I just want to point out something. A really important thing to notice is this crack that Karen had in her voice. And you can see the pitch monitoring software actually registered that crack in her voice. Listen again. You can hear that she went into almost a vocal fry sound because her vocal cords just split apart for a sp split second and we get a little gap here. So let's have a listen to uh, Tori's vocal and have a look at uh, the lines on screen. So this is now Tori's voice. You might be able to hear a difference, but she is so similar. Let's have a listen. We've only just begun to live. So here, there's no break of the vocal. Tori is singing that you know, all the way through, doesn't go into vocal fry. Let me just continue. White lace and promises. A kiss below. So, yeah, I mean, the tone is so similar. Tori's got an ever so slight, maybe deeper sound to her voice, but you can't really notice, even on the isolated vocal, which as I've already said, you know, Tori's voice is so similar. It is crazy. But having said that, you know that we deal with the details. So we're going to get a little bit more technical. Just first of all, to show you the reliability of the pitch monitoring software. This is Karen Carpenter's voice. And look at 
the way that this voice has been plotted and look at the break apart that we get here. Now, when I ran it through the pitch monitoring software from the beginning all over again to show how reliable it is, this is what it came up with. So this is me now stopping, starting again, playing the song through the pitch monitoring software, the isolated vocal, and again, it's plotted exactly the same thing. To the point where, if I try to get really fancy with this, oh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to do this, but I'll be able to grab this and I'd be able to put this exactly, there you go, or oh, that was, I moved it a little bit at the end. There you go. So these are two separate uh, plays into the pitch monitoring software of Karen Carpenter's vocal and they match up absolutely perfectly. You can't replicate this with two separate takes of a vocal. This has got to be the same voice that's happened twice. So that shows you the reliability of the analysis videos that we do and the accuracy of this. And I have had some people in the past, probably a few years ago and said, oh, I can't believe you're using something um, as untechnical as an Android app to do the pitch monitoring. You know, you should be using some software that's you know, really expensive, you know, as if that makes it better because it costs more. The reason that I use this is that now everybody can use it and download this app to help with their singing, but also to check other performances if they want to. But it's because it is this accurate that this vocal, and this is still two of the vocal on top of each other. So, you know, it is perfectly gonna match up. So if there's a vocal that wasn't Karen Carpenter, it will be different. So now we have Tori's vocal on screen and I'm gonna bring on screen Karen's vocal. I'm just gonna move this a little bit to get them aligned. So already, actually, you can see that I mean, over here, <laughs> there's an obvious difference that these lines aren't going to match up because it is Tori's voice. It isn't just the original track played through. So I'm going to zoom in on this, actually, so you can see a bit more clearly what I'm doing and how different these lines are. I mean, it's just crazily different. But no matter how you try and get this to work, you think, right, well, how can I match up? Right, let me try and match up this you part. But then that doesn't work. So let me try and match the slide, but then this bit doesn't work. Let me try and get the peak up here the same. So now if I move across a little bit, you know, yeah, all of that stuff, all of these lines don't match up, this doesn't go. And look at the vibrato. So you can see how, because they're two separate voices, even though they sound almost identical, when we go into the detail that we can with these analysis videos, and I can zoom in like this, it shows you night and day that it's not the same voice. And in the previous example, you can put the same voice over the same voice and it follows it perfectly. It really is a validation of the software that I'm using for these analysis videos, how accurate it is, that it is always gonna give you the same result if you put in the same audio. And you know that's all you want from any kind of test to be objective. That process has to be 100% accurate all the time. And it is, we know that from testing the software. As much as Tori would try and replicate exactly what Karen did, it would never go over the top because what we're looking at here are tiny changes of one or two or three cents of pitch in the vibrato and the timing of the vibrato that you can do this millions of times and you will never, ever you could do it for the rest of your life and you won't get these lines to match up. It's gonna be impossible when you're looking at it in this detail. But I like doing this kind of thing. I, I do get a kick out of proving things and just showing things objectively uh, because it shows a fact and you can't beat a fact. No matter how you feel about something, it doesn't change it you know, that it's a fact. <laughs> and there might be some people that say, oh, but I still think it's the original song. But you can't deny the fact that it isn't. So yeah, it, again, facts don't care about feelings. As long as you are backing up your facts with objective proof, then that is it. Because everyone can say, oh, I think this, I think that. But 
you know, this is used, this isn't software that I develop, it's all third party stuff. So it means that this software hasn't got any affiliation with any artist. It's just going to tell you what happened and where the notes actually were. If anything, it's just backing up or enhancing the appreciation for that original cover video. If you haven't seen that analysis video or the cover video, then make sure you check it out. The, the link to it is in my analysis video. So you can just go to the analysis video, go to the description, click on the link in there and just enjoy the cover. Now knowing that they have matched everything from a tempo perspective as well, using that original as their guide. So keep those suggestions and requests coming in the comment section below. Of course, let me know what you guys think. And if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys at the next one. Rock.